Yes, I am one of those 5% of people who are affected with acrophobia. The fear of heights. I had that phobia when I was a kid, but not anymore. Acrophobia can range from fear included when you are on the top floor of a tall building to fear of standing on a chair. It's like I'm on a kid's playground jumping off a one-foot-high step while another five-year-olds are climbing up all around me having fun. I'm boasting to my mom. Look what I can do! People with acrophobia feel a sense of panic and anxiety when they're at a certain height, usually because they're unable to trust their sense of balance. While my friends tell me they went on a helicopter ride and that was so much fun, the next time I should go with them. I'm like, oh, oh, that would be great, can't wait. But I really could wait and didn't want anything to do with it. Are you afraid of heights? I used to be, and still some, a little. But one thing I notice, the more I force myself, my fear takes another step back, and that's the better I get. I have tried everything, well, almost everything. From relaxation activities like yoga, meditation, which can help you influence how your fear or anxiety affects your life. To gradually expose yourself to your fear, first try to expose yourself to greater heights. For instance, you might want to start simply by climbing a tree, or going into the second story of a building and look out of the window. Then try the third floor and so on. Some people go to extremes by trying paragliding. I have no guts even to think about it. Not even thinking or talking about trying it. Forget about bungee jumping. For me it's an extreme. Just looking down from a bridge where some people jump from gives me chills. Step by step and higher and higher, you can train yourself to be comfortable enough in time. It's like playing a piano. If you don't practice enough of it, you'll never be good at it. Eventually, after a couple of years of training, I was ready for higher grounds. My dad would tell me, it's so much fun, try it. I was still worried. This time I wanted to try fast-paced freedom gravity-fueled racing carts called luge. I wanted to try so much, I was ready for everything, or almost everything. To get to the luge race car, we had to take a gondola up a hill. The gondola is a scenic skyline ride. Oh no, did you hear me right? Skyline. Spectacular scenic views. Oh yes, very scenic. I can promise you that. So scenic that I thought it might be the last thing I'll remember. I made it up to the top after all that useless worry and can't wait for my high-speed racing luge ride. Ready, set, go! Here I come! <laughs> I know what you're thinking. She's not so fast. Well, I have an excuse for that, too. While I was driving, I remembered the small script description about luge race cars, which didn't register with me right away. The views from the top are absolutely stunning. Must visit spot. I remember driving and thinking, Look at this view. I'm at about 400 meters high, and look at this jaw-dropping panoramic view. And I'm not afraid. I was slower than everybody else on the racetrack, but I was proud of myself. Oh wait, nobody told me I had to take a open ski lift from the luge race carts back up. Here we're going again, but it was fun, and my dad reinsured that it's okay. And yes, views are stunning. It looks like I can enjoy them after all. The ride down on the gondola was peaceful. We all enjoyed the incredible panoramic views. Honestly, I was feeling happy when I touched the ground. Rather relieved and for sure accomplished. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching. See you all next week.